What's up, y'all? DJ The Sports Blurred. I'm back. Did you miss me? Uh, today, I have a really quick video. I know I say that a lot, but this is really going to be a quick one. I was just having to think about a couple of things, and um, I really don't think Ohio State's getting the credit they deserve for having a phenomenal season. You guys already saw the title of the video. Is Ohio State overrated? Yes or no? Before we jump too deep into it, uh, while you're here, hey, man, please help me get to 300 subscribers. I really appreciate uh, you guys taking some time out of your day, right, to come check me out. But since you're here, please comment, like, subscribe, do all that. Tell me why I'm right. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why you think I have a great idea or tell me why my idea is terrible. Um, but I like responding back to all your comments. I usually will write back to everybody's comments. Uh, so, you know, I appreciate all the love and support I've gotten so far. And I also appreciate the hate. It lets me know I'm doing something right. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Is Ohio State underrated this year my answer short answer is absolutely yes I, I mean i truly believe it now how can a team that is number two in the ap poll be underrated you ask that's a great question well my answer is that the number one team who's uh in the ap right now ranked ap is overrated is georgia bulldogs now if you've been watching my channel this year I mean, I speak in very highly of Georgia. I even gave them a little pass when uh, they had a little trip up against Kent State. And then I also kind of gave them a pass versus Missouri. But you cannot have two consecutive games where you played just terrible football, especially to just lower level competition like that and still be considered the number one team in the nation. Now, I will always give you the benefit of the doubt if you win the national championship. And that's what they did last year. But they've just had too many stinkers. Ohio State is the only team in the country that has not had a stinker. Oh, but Derek, what about Notre Dame? That was the first game of the year. And at no point watching that game did I ever really feel like they were, were not in control. Oh, but Derek, they went into halftime, you know, down 10-7. to 7. Yeah, but I was never concerned that they were going to lose that game. I've seen Alabama on multiple occasions, right? I saw them almost lose to Texas on the road, okay? Now, uh, Quinn Ewers was playing. He was wheeling and dealing. They knocked him out. In comes their second string quarterback, okay? And they almost beat Alabama. The same thing with Texas A&M. Now, Bryce Young is gone. Now that, and that's a, that's a huge loss to have Bryce Young out of there. But you still got to play. You still got to play with who you have. And um, Ohio State has, in my opinion, the best, the best depth in the country, right? For a couple of different reasons. Travion Henderson, who came into this season as a potential Heisman candidate, he's barely played. Jackson, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, our best wide receiver, has barely played, but it hasn't stopped anything. As a matter of fact, we're probably playing better now than we played uh, last year. So a couple of things that uh, I want to lay down for my case as to why Ohio State is underrated. Think about this. There's really just one guy in particular, one guy can absolutely make a team. And our guy is CJ Stroud. I want to hit you with some stats because I don't think a lot of people have heard this. He's number one in total passing touchdowns at 17. The number two quarterback has 15. He's number two. He's number one in total QBR. And it's not even close, right? He has a 94.8 QBR. Number two has a 90.6. He's number one in passing efficiency. Now, I really don't know how this is calculated, but I just thought it was impressive. And it's really not close to this. Now, he has a passing efficiency grade of 207. Number two has a passing efficiency grade at 189. He is going absolutely crazy. Last year, all right, he had a 71% completion percentage. He passed for over 4,400 yards. He had 44 touchdowns and six TDs. He is on pace to smash even those records that he set last year. It is what he's been doing, um, he has not been getting enough credit for. He has been getting overshadowed. What he is doing is absolutely special. If he was doing this in Alabama, if he was doing this in Georgia, he would be getting, you know, roses thrown at his feet. And look at what he's doing for the total offense. Ohio State. Number one in total offense, 48.8. Number two is more than two points, or excuse me, it's two points lower than them. Ohio State's 48.8. Tennessee's 46.8. Ohio State, number two, total offense, 543 yards a game. Number one, Tennessee, 547 yards a game. What they're doing here in Columbus is absolutely spectacular. 
but we knew their offense was going to be good. We uh, we knew this coming into you know this year. Our our only question was what about their defense? Now, if I told you Ohio State had the number seven seventh ranked total defense in the country, would you believe me? Well, you better. They're number seven. Who's number six yet? You say Bama? Oh, Bama! They play in the SEC, man. They're really tough. Yeah, can I shoot in Utah State and uh, Louisiana Monroe and Vanderbilt? Three teams that you know Bama smoked. Oh man, but who's number eight? So if if Alabama's number six, Ohio State's number seven. Who's number eight? Got to be a great team, right? Absolutely. The Georgia Bulldogs, number eight. Ohio State has a better total defense, statistically speaking, than even the Georgia Bulldogs. But Georgia, I mean, they're just like Alabama. They play in the SEC. Great teams, right? Yeah. Can I interest you in Kansas or Kent State? Yeah, they they weren't that great. Kent State hung twenty two on them. Mizzou. Took them, uh, took them almost to the wire. Should have probably beaten Georgia, okay? So, you know, uh, where where Ohio State is playing right now, I don't think anybody in the country on a neutral field can beat them. That includes Alabama with Bryce Young. That includes Georgia with the Stetson Bennett. That includes USC. That includes Tennessee. That includes anybody you want to throw out. However you cut it, in my opinion, Ohio State is the best team. But let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. If you've made it through the video, please comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Just wanted to come out, shoot this short video. I am an Ohio State fan, but I will always call it like I see it. If I think Ohio State's playing poorly, I'll tell you. If I think there's another team playing better, I'll tell you. But right now, I don't think that there's another team that's better than Ohio State. And I almost think it's a benefit that Ohio State is... Um, you know, undervalued right now. I, I I really want them kind of flying under the radar. I really want everybody to tell, you know, every, uh, Georgia how good they are. I want Bama to to get to get big heads. So by the time we play them at the end of the year and the playoffs and the national championship, you know, they're not, they're going to be ready. Ohio State is that is. All right, appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little bit. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, y'all.